Welcome to Gravy Boat Cooking and Camping. We're just going to throw a stew on the stove um, and then we're going to use the fire later to do something else. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to throw it together now uh, so you'll see what's in it and we'll go from there. the meat off until it most of it's brown and seared on the edges. Put a bit of salt in with it. Sorry about that. Kimmy does, down, down the bottom. Down the back, mate. Cooking with kids always fun. <laughs> ah, so a bit of onion in there now. That's just the moisture from the beef. Bit of beef stock. Probably too much, but anyway. It's plenty of liquid. I'm going to throw a beer in here. Queensland's finest. Well, actually, I think it's pretty used to that. And uh, a bit of red, bit of red wine there. Just like just a glug, yeah. Just, give just it a good like, glug. Yeah, yeah that'll be <laughs> perfect. Oh, and for some for you. Oh, okay. Glad we didn't want to use that again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now we got some potatoes, some carrots, some sweet potato in there. We've got some beans and some mushies and some corn to go in later. But we'll put this we'll put this on the um, the boil now and we'll get it going. It's also some gravy powder. Uh, get that gravy boat, but some gravy powder to go in there later on too. Now Mick's got these home brews set up for us in the keg. And um, yeah, so by the end of this, uh, you'll see that they actually are a lot heavier than he's saying that they are. Bubbling away, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna chuck some mushies and some green beans in there. So I'll, um, I won't make you watch me peel mushrooms and cut beans, but we'll get back to that and I'll throw it. We'll, we'll cut back when I'm throwing them in. So a bit of mushies, put a bit of a few beans in there too. I'm not gonna trim these for you, lads. Righto, so just throwing in some mushies and some corn and peas and um, we'll give it a stir through, warm them through for half an hour and then we'll throw the gravy, gravy powder in to thicken her up at the end. Alright, so I use the Maggi Rich Brown Gravy Mix, which is, I think, is just your best gravy. It's, all, it's the same gravy you get on all your chips and stuff, but the trick with it is, is you need to whisk it up in cold water first and then bring it to the boil, and then as it brings to the boil, it'll thicken things up. So, we have got a bit of powder in this, um, and as we mix it through, all these other clumps will go, but we'll, we'll tip it in now. We'll crank the heat up on the stew. Tip in the gravy mix. And this is the final stage, so we've been cooking this since at half three this afternoon. See the meat's just falling apart in it. We're too lazy to do anything else to go with it. So. And you can see it thickening, thickening up there as we go. That's the gravy powder thickening the stew up. get it to a consistency that we're happy with. Turn it off the heat. And we're done. How many people 
Oh, we feed. Feeding five blokes tonight. <laughs> And for breakfast and lunch and then dinner tomorrow. No, so there'll be plenty of leftovers of um I think I've actually forgotten the takeaway containers. We'll find some way to keep it keep it in the fridge tomorrow. Might have to drink all the beer out of the fridge first. Oh. I reckon that's Pretty good. Just leave it on the heat for a little bit while we get our crusty bread rolls out. A few crusty bread rolls to go with it. Oh, I know. Well, I think that'll hit the spot. What do you reckon? Let's get amongst it. Alright, let's get amongst it. Well, I've got four out of five. So if you've got one floating around. How much you want, Matty? It's gonna oh, be yours. That'll be. That'll be you. Thoughts, Matty? Yeah, it's great. Fantastic, mate. Well done. Very well done. And Mick? Ordinary. <laughs> Ordinary. <laughs> Mick hasn't had his yet, that's why he's lying. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like. Yes, actually. <laughs> Give us a hit, Dale. Where are you going to point to, mate? Point in a corner. There, like and subscribe up there. Touch that. See you.